Welcome. It's your boy, Sun Cool Jamal, and this is my new series, Gender Swap. I'm gonna start off with Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo. We play for Manchester United. So we all know what Cristiano Ronaldo looks like. Well, at least now we do because, you know, he's on the screen. But how you ever for what he might look like as a woman? Well, you're about to find out. This is Cristiano Ronaldo as a woman. So we just going to call this individual to the right, Cristina. <laughs> Why not? I want to give them women names. This is Kristen Erickson. This is Christian. Well, both can be Christian because upon doing some research, I found out that Christian can be a boy's name and a girl's name or a man's name and a woman's name. This is Lazandro Martinez. Say hi to Lazandra. This is Mason Greenwood. Say hi to Mason because Mason can also be a girl's name. So both of these two individuals you could call Mason. This is Harry Maguire. And now I would like to introduce you to Harry. Because Harry can be a girl's name and a boy's name. So this is Jaden Sancho. I'm going to call this person on the right, Jadina. Moving on. So this is Tyro Malaysia. And Tyro Malaysia just seemed to be looking up and, you know, being thankful. As science. So maybe you might be thankful to me when I show you what Tyro Malaysia might look like as a woman. So say hi to Tyrella. Tyrella got a big smile on her thing, you know what I'm saying? Move on to the next, I guess. This is Alejandro Ganeso Ferreira. So let's see if he want to transform into a woman. Let's see what he may look like. So this is Alejandra. Moving on. So this is Marcus Vashford. And we want to find out what Marcus Rashford looked like as a woman. So, I'm going to call this person Marquisa. And Marquisa looks like someone is saying, I can find a Tinder. It's saying, if you ain't seen my Tinder adventure, go check that out. You know what I mean? But if not, stay here. Or stay on the um, gender swap series. This is Bruno Fernandez. And we're going to find out what Bruno Fernandez looked like as a woman. Say hi to Bruno. And you see they both have big grants and everything. Look kind of similar. Yeah, why not? Know what I mean? So this is David Degui Quintana. Do apologize if I'm not pronouncing words properly. It just, I normally don't pronounce words properly. So we're going to find out what this individual may look like if he decides to do a gender swap. Yes, yeah, so um, let's just call this individual D. Hey, why not? So this is D, and that's David. David, D, D, David. I'm introducing themselves. Who knows? David might want to look like this in the future. So this is Anthony Marshall. And to nobody's surprise, he played for Manchester United. But what you may be surprised by what he looked like as a woman. And I'm going to show you, okay? So yeah, we're going to call this person um, Antonia. Why not? We're going to move on to the next, okay? This is Hannibal Mabry. You're going to see the next photo. As you see, Annabelle looks like his mother. I mean... Like the age, like you know, gap. Like yo, that that could be his mother. You know what I'm saying? Why not? I mean, or oh, this could be him in a few years. Why not? I'm just saying. So this is Anthony David Jr. Elanga. I'm gonna show you what he might look like if he decides to transform. Okay. 
but this is Davina and as you can see Davina has um, you know gotten a, a, a little nose job just saying because the nose is different here um, and um, an awkward kind of smile yes yeah, so this is Donnie Vanderbeek and let's just get into it and find out what it looks like as a woman I want to call this individual Davina because saying but you know I do see the similarities kind of but not really they almost look like just completely different people I uh, am you know, saying I'm not even talking about you know the gender swap I'm just talking about that you know this could be like a woman you're saying you're walking down the street and you may see well, depending where you live in, because if you live in a place where there's no blonde women, you're saying it's very unlikely for you to see this kind of woman. But you live in a place where there are some blonde women, then it might be possible for you to see a woman like this. You're saying this is Zidin Iqbal, and the name Zidin means growth. So let's find out what Zidin Iqbal might look like if he decides to grow into a woman. See how I went into that one. So this is what he may look like, or oh, this potentially what his mother might look like. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm gonna call this woman Zena. Looks like a respectable woman. You know what I mean? Moving on. This is Fancando Palesti Rabello. Fancando means eloquent, and we're gonna find if what he may look like as a woman is she gonna look eloquent or not okay this is Fakanda Fanina I'm making up my own names she, I don't know if she look elegant or not but she does look happy you are saying they have a similar kind of look of course because this is taken from that and then now you become a woman this is Raphael Xavier Verrain and Raphael means he has healed or something along that line. We want to find out what he may look like as a woman. So say hi to Raquel. And um, Raquel would like to have that short kind of hair, but you could tell she's feminine though. You're saying just um, because of certain features. You're saying, well, that looked like he could be his sister for real. You're saying, yeah, yeah. They look related. This is James Garner. Apparently James is both a boy's name and girl's name. James also means supplanter or replacer. So let's find out what James might look like if he decides to replace his penis with a vagina. They both could be called cool James. But this is what James could look like if James decided to become a woman. <laughs> This is Frederico Rodriguez de Paula Santos. He's known as Fred. Yo, we're gonna find out what Frederico might look like as a woman, okay? This is Frederica. And as you can see, they look quite similar. Now, I mean, Frederica looked like she would roll over Frederico. Yes, yeah, saying she seemed fierce and. You know what I'm saying? Like she ain't gonna take no BS from anybody. I'm just saying. In fact, Frederica looked like she could be Frederico's mother. What do you think? Can you see the similarity? This is Charlie Savage. And Charlie means free man. Charlie is a unisex name. Let's find out what Charlie would look like if Charlie decided to be an old woman. There's a reason why I said old, okay? Yeah. Now you see why I said old. How old is Charlie? <laughs> Charlie's only 19 years old. And they made Charlie as a woman look 90 years old. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I understand some people age badly, but come on. This is Amar Diallo. Ahmad means highly praised. 
Now let's see if Ahmad will be highly praised if he decides to turn himself into a woman. <laughs> One thing I can say is that this looked like his youngest sister, Amini. Or Amina. Yeah, let's go with Amina. I'm making up names. This is Aaron Wan Bissica. Aaron can mean exalted or strong. Let's find out if you strongly think Aaron will look good as a woman. <laughs> I <can't. laughs> I think we can strongly agree that Aranita has a strong smile. This is Alex Nicolotes and Alex means defender of mankind. Let's find out what Alex is going to look like as a woman, okay? Alex Dongda looks like an anime character, you know what I'm saying? With the um, big eyes and yeah. I see a resemblance in near fan you know saying, but this really does look like a cartoon character, you know what I'm saying? This is Phil Anthony Jones, and Phil actually means lover of horses or horse lover, but what you may not know is what Phil gonna look like as a woman, so I'm gonna show you. Philippa is what we're gonna call this person right here look kind of similar we could say that's his youngest sister Fanny Fink you know what I'm saying this is Scott Francis McTominay Scott means somebody from Scotland let's find out what Scott will look like as a woman or may I say a Scott woman or Scottish woman and Scott is a gender neutral name apparently so this woman could be called Scott and yeah like if she told me she was Scottish I would believe it because why not know what I mean moving on this is Andreas Hugo Hugaba Pereira Andreas means man and it is of Greek origin but we're gonna find out what this man might look like if he decides to be a woman. And as you see, there's not much change. Andrea. Well, we could see that Andrea is obviously looking more feminine. <laughs> and look, it's gonna be no surprise to anybody to say that if Andreas were to shave, okay, his facial hair, put it on, on a little makeup, just saying, he could transform within 15 minutes. If he wants to. This is Eric Bertrand Bailey. Eric means forever ruler or always rolling or something along them lines. So we're going to find out where Eric might look like as a woman and we could see that Erica looks happy for her son Eric to be a successful soccer player but she seemed to be the real ruler this is Jose Diego Dilo Tessera Diego can mean supplanter and supplanter can mean someone or something taking the place of another. So let's find out what Diago might look like if he decides to take place as a woman. Okay. Um, she seems happy. <laughs> you know saying? They seem related, of course. They look similar. We'll call the lady Divitra. It could actually be him in a few years time if he decides to you know switch it up you know what I mean and um 
live as a lady. This is Victor Jordan Nilsson Lindelof. Victor means winner or conqueror. So let's find out if he will conquer the heart of men if he decides to become a woman. See what I did there? We're going to call this individual Vicky. It's saying, do you think Vicky will conquer the heart of men? This is Thomas David Heaton. Thomas means twin. We're going to find out if he decides to be a woman, if people will mistake that for his twin sister. Yeah, they could pass their twins. Why not? Now what I mean, this is Ethan Benjamin Lid. Ethan means strong and firm. And I strongly believe if you were to see Ephia on something like Tinder, you'll swipe right. Am I wrong? I'm just saying. This is Tahis Chung. I wasn't able to find out the name meaning. So you do know the name meaning. Just, you know, write it in the comment. I appreciate that. This looks like his auntie, I would assume, you're saying? Or maybe older sister, you're saying? This is Luke Paul Holshaw. Luke means light giving. This is what Luke might look like if he decided to cross dress, shave the beard, put on a wig, a lot of makeup, and you have um, this. <laughs> I don't know. What you're well, when you go look up, I, I, I'm trying to come up with a girl's name, but I'm just still seeing Luke here. You know what I mean, I know what's going on with this region right here? You know saying this is Brandon Paul Brian Williams. Brandon can mean prince or king, so let's find out. What Brandon might look like if he decides to become a princess or queen. It might have took a few years for Brandina to become a princess or a queen. But a lot of time has gone by. Because, yeah, like, apparently he's 22. Now, Brandina is about 50. Prove me wrong. This is... Axel to one C. Axel means father of peace. I'm going to peacefully end this video showing you what Axel might look like if you decide to gender swap. Thanks for tuning in, you're saying. I have a few ideas what I'm going to do next and um. I plan to carry on this series unless I get beat down by one of these people. <laughs>